So we have Mary and Martha. And as I thought about this, I thought about the many times that I had friends over, a big party. You remember those days? You're rushing around, you're trying to get everything done, and you're exhausted before they even show up. And here's Martha, who has Jesus show up at his door, at her door. And think about it, he probably wasn't alone. I expect there were many people that she took one look, and although she welcomed that here he was, that would show up, he also brought a whole bunch of people to feed and to take care of. And so Martha, doing what she would do, which is how to be hospitable, was trying to get everything done, worrying to have enough food in the house, dishes, whatever it was. And there's her sister, sitting at the feet of Jesus. I'm sure she was pretty angry when she went to Jesus and pretty frustrated. So she did what probably some of us would do. Can't you help? Can't you get her off her butt and help us? And Jesus said, well, Mary's doing what she should do. And I think about church life and how much there is to do in a parish. And sometimes I think some feel like they're doing it all by themselves. And there are others sitting down, enjoying the feast, maybe just sitting in worship on Sunday and thinking, why can't they help? Don't they get it? I'm working my butt off, but come on, folks. It takes a lot to run a church. It takes a lot to do ministries. And that's when we get in trouble. Because we forget that the whole purpose is to be of service. And when we get so frustrated and angry and resentful, then it stops being a ministry. It stops being about I have this opportunity to serve God. Instead, I'm mad, and I'm angry, and I'm frustrated, and I want help. And so that's when we have to be Mary, when we have to go back to the well and sit at Jesus' feet to remind ourselves why are we here? We're here to hear the word of God, to take in the teachings, and then to be free to take it out into the world. So if we get so caught up in all that we're doing to a point that we, we lose focus as to why we're doing it, then we are like Martha's. Martha had the opportunity to serve the Lord personally, and yet in her frustration, she allowed herself to become angry and overwhelmed. And Mary, she was taking it in. So perhaps she would be able to lend a hand after she gets fed. We all need to know what our limits are. We all need to know what God is asking for us. We all have to know what our faith means to us. And in this day and age, we more than ever need to be Christians who have a non-anxious presence in the world. Our world is in turmoil. In politics, we have become inhumane in how we treat each other across the board. We have forgotten about what it means to be caring, loving, compassionate people at times. And so we are asked, when that happens, we need to go back to the well and sit at Jesus' feet 
and listen and hear the teachings about love, about care, about compassion. And we need to understand that it's not going to be easy. We can't cherry pick the teachings we want. We can't say, well, Jesus said this and ignore that he said that. Jesus said it's going to be hard work. And there's going to be times that we're going to be crucified or be thought less of. Or we're going to have to meet with people and speak out when we don't want to. When we'd rather be one of the group. Just let it be. And that's not what Jesus asked us. Jesus asked us to share his light in the world. To bring light into a dark place. To let Christ's message shine through us and in us. And so today, when we're frustrated and scared, we have to remember that we are Christians. Christ asked us to be the light in the world in places of darkness, to shine that light when it's hard to hold the candle up, when our arms are so heavy and weary that we want to give up. Our faith tells us that we have to have hope, that there is a better place. Jesus said, Mary is doing the better thing because Mary is going to the well. She is hearing the words so that maybe when Martha is weary, Mary can come forward. And when Mary needs to go back to the well, Martha will step up. That's why we need each other. We cannot do it alone. Christ sent people out two by two. He didn't expect us to do it alone. And he gave us this church to, as one body to come back and support each other. It's difficult times. But with our faith, with our hope, with our love of Jesus, with compassion and care, we can be the light in the darkness and shine forth love when people forget. It's not easy being a Christian, but Jesus didn't say it would. It's not even easy sometimes to be human, to be that caring human being. But let us not forget that in almost every religion they teach about love, not those who we like, not those who look like us, not those who believe like we do, but love of everyone. And that's what our job is. That's what our ministry is. And when it's time and we're weary, be merry and go to the feet of Jesus to get renewed, refreshed. And when you're full, go back out and be Martha and serve the God in everyone that you meet. Amen.